Welcome to Builds with Blocks, a show centered around the micro action figures and brick based construction sets of the Halo universe. I'm your host, Colin Perkins, and I'm joined by Tom Fishenden. Hello, hello. Matt Salvatore. Ahoy, ahoy. And Gabe Clem. Hey there. <laughs> spring is right around the corner, and uh, we finally wanted to give you our impressions of the spring wave that Kevin shared with us back in November. Um, the, the sets have been not widespread quite yet. Uh, I think some of that has to do with the, the delay of Halo Infinite, so we're, we're working our way through that. But meanwhile, at least one of us has w one of the sets. Some of us have most of them. Um, so we just wanted to give you our impressions, tell, you, tell us you know what's good, what maybe needs a little more work, what you should pick up, um, what, what not to sleep on, all that sort of fun stuff. So we're going to have a fun conversation today about all the sets that are included. There may be a couple things we haven't talked about also, so we'll try to cover up on everything. Um, but before we do that, let's t uh, go around the table and talk about what we've been up to individually on the block front. Tom, why don't you start us? Yeah, um, I'm not going to hit the space bar and ruin the recording again. Um, <laughs> I have <laughs> built the Banshee Breakout set recently, yeah. which okay. was a lot of fun. I built that yesterday, published a review of it today. Uh, and we've got that. a comparison video to the original Halo Wars 2 Banshee coming up yeah. as well. Um, That'll so be that out by this by time this drops. Yes, yeah, it mm. probably should be. I think I'm looking at scheduling it in for next week at the time of recording it. Um, so that was a fun build. Yeah. And then quick, quick, quick spoilers though. Which one do you like better? Mm -hmm. I, I'm still I'm on the fence. Really? Oh, fence. really? I really? really like the colors of the classic one, yeah. but I mm -hmm. like okay. the shapes of the new one. So it's okay. 50 -50. Yep, I can see that. I can see that. I can see that. But yeah, that that's kind of been my mega fix. And then I've been away in Lego Harry Potter land. So on Monday, I built the Hogwarts clock tower, which oh, was nice. a really fun awesome. build. How yeah. big is that set? How many pieces are in that thing? I want to say a thousand. Okay. Um, really? Yeah. So I put that together and I've got Hagrid's heart coming on Friday. So oh. very much in Harry Potter land at the moment. <laughs> no worries. Now the, the, the clock tower is the set that Dumbledore kicks the bucket in, right? Spoilers. That's the, is that the... astronomy <laughs> tower. Okay. That's the astronomy yeah. tower. Okay. Clock tower was from prisoner of Azkaban. Clock tower Lego have got it set up so it's the one where the um, Yule Ball takes place. So the ground oh, floor oh, is like oh. the dance floor and all of the glass tables from that. Okay, that actually looks like a pretty cool set. The figures on that are pretty, pretty Yeah, there's nice. some really cool figures. Oh, man, Harry Potter, right? Right? Yeah. <laughs> Gabe, cool. you'd fit right in with your British <laughs> accent. Gabe's here to talk about Halo. Enough of this. I just I just stuff. don't know that much about Harry Potter. But... <laughs> it's wizards and witches and lots of wands. Ah. It's a magical place. Yeah. yeah. Gabe, why don't you tell us what you've been up to? Did you say me or Gabe? Gabe, Gabe why don't you tell us what you've been up to? Um, <laughs> a lot of a lot of school lately. Actually, yeah. uh, midterms are coming, so I have a lot uh -huh. of tests for all of my classes. But um, finally worked on some new. 3D parts. I uh, posted a GRD with the XO TCS from Season 5 of HMCC. Um, nice. Worked on an ODST Bullfrog. I posted as of as of when this comes out, uh, I've done a Trailblazer from Halo Infinite, yeah. which we haven't really seen, so I had to take some creative liberties, but he's also got <laughs> a 3D Commando rifle. So oh, cool. Mm. Um, I got a huge haul that has like 50 halo reach marines and a bunch of elites and all kinds of series 13 nice. and other heroes and oh it, it was it was sweet but are they for your personal of... collection or for for um, custom like three quarters of them are and then the other like quarter of it is uh for like commissions and trade yeah nice but yeah i'm just uh i'm just acquiring as many parts and pieces as i can <laughs> yeah Cool. Well, it must mean you uh, continue to get paid, so that's good. <laughs> You're spending yeah, the money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Maddie, what have you been up to? Ooh, quite a bit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I've, I have tracked down, and I think I may have mentioned the times that I've picked up some of the sets, but I do have a couple of the Blind Bag series and the Ghost that we're going to be talking yep. about. 
So I was happy to find those, but it's it's pretty scarce out where I'm at. Uh, mm-hmm. Even the Lego light. section, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> even the Lego section is bare. Like is it, it looked like Christmas went in there with like a tornado, yeah. and it just never has gotten yep. uh, replenished yet. So it's kind of disappointing going in there. <laughs> um, but I have done a couple of stop motion projects. I have a, a Lord of the Rings stop motion that's coming out soon. Oh, cool. So I look forward to that. And then I did a quick little little teaser for, well, I guess it was like a snippet of the trailer because Zack Snyder's Justice League trailer had uh, just came out. So I did the end part with the Joker, and it's like 13 seconds. But nice. it was one of the, one of the I, think, I think, probably the best lighting that I've done in a in um in a stop motion Mm -hmm. just how i got the the kind of that nightmare haze so i was happy that 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 came out looking like that so that's what i've been doing it's it's been pretty successful so i was happy about that nice but that's that's pretty good so lord of the rings one on the way but that's what i've been doing stop motion and then uh been collecting i think i did pick up a couple more stuff on ebay but none of it's arrived so yeah i'll wait i'll be waiting for that but cool yeah all right well i will go um i'll show you what i did today is i sliced my hand open um Spotting down just you know <laughs> doing things around the house dropped a dish broke Got sliced a fist my hand with so i wanted to at least point that out because i'll be sharing stuff and you'll see this giant bandage i'm fine five stitches i don't know if that's a lot it makes me tough but um, anyway, we'll be, we'll be we'll be fine. I'll just be you know it'll be slower to type and build these days for you know yeah. a couple weeks. Yeah. Anyway, um, but I have been I don't know if you can tell, but my office looks a little tidier. So I've been organizing my office a little bit, um, and the shelf back there has a couple maybe a couple more things on it. Actually, th- what it had on there were the, the helmets that we're talking about. Um, so I took those <laughs> down so we can talk about them today. But um, yeah, I've been taking things apart, which is kind of heartbreaking right so i had uh, like a big dis- display shelf down in the basement and now that's got taken down because we rearranged so i've been taking a bunch of stuff apart um so fort perkins is down which is you know had to happen no not fort perkins I know. perkins <laughs> <laughs> it uh, fell to the banish in 2021 i, I had a cauldron crack cauldron clash up there took that down a mantis my kodiak that i had like kind of i have most of the pieces now Anyway, um, are you disassembling them or are you just putting them? Are you disassembling the sets or are you putting them in different spots? No, I'm just taking them all apart and putting them in bags and, you know, I'll build them back up later. Colin, on. are you okay? Do we need to have an intervention? <laughs> Buddy, we're well, here. I know, I'm like. The Transformers like, are, are taking up a little more shelf space. So just. Trader, you know, kick them off. We talked about that. Um, <laughs> but I have all my new stuff up. So we're, we're in good shape. Um, okay, so you I can do stay have... for now. <laughs> so I did buy the helmets, as I mentioned. And then I did get the Master of the Universe skulls. Those things are kind of rad. Um, you know, we won't go into detail. But um, those are those have been fun, too. So, yeah, just, you know, trying to keep up with everything. Trying to keep organized. Um, all right, why don't we dive into the meat of the show from here. Um, as I already mentioned, let's do Spring Wave. And, and if you've um, joined us for these shows in the past, we just kind of, you know, we'll talk about each individual item from like a figure blind bag set. Um, and then, you know, we'll kind of go around the room and, and have all our thoughts. Not everybody has everything. So um, uh, well, let's start with the blind bags. I think that that's a good spot. They, they haven't been out on shelves um, quite as much as we want because I think a lot of Wave One is still out on shelves and it hasn't completely sold out yet um, with the delay and all that sort of stuff. So um, hopefully it will start to hit shelves soon. I got mine at a Walmart in a random small town and just got lucky, but I haven't seen them in the city at all. So um, you know maybe mm. somewhere in the outskirts they, they are uh, they're around, but hopefully hopefully everybody can get their hands on them soon. Uh, let's go down the yeah, list. Yeah, mine flashed up and then it was gone. It was there for. A minute and then yep right yeah have they replaced it with wave one blind bags or no just no nothing? what well what it is is it's um just a couple of bags in a box so they still have the box and there's a couple of bags left in the box but it's of the ones i already have previous waves or the, or the same wave same wave just gotcha. i already i already yeah i already have two of the yellow ones and yeah. i don't want a third one a lot of places i visit when i'm looking for heroes it's like you know series nines are in the box for like series 11 or something like that yeah but anyway all right so let's go down the list um let's start with the there's a yellow spartan and it's not officially named yet i think kevin mentioned that there's it's the anubis helmet which is a new helmet but i don't think the full armor has been named yet it wasn't on the mega's mm. official site yet 
um, but he's got that beefy chest. Um, and then I, I, I do like that the helmet. Um, you know, we'll, we probably won't play too much show and tell. Um, I'm sure um, we'll show it on the screen here for you. But Gabe, you said you had this one. Do you want to talk about it a little bit? Yeah. Um, I think this is the. I guess this is only the second Anubis. There's two, right? There's one in the Ghost that you guys will be talking yep. about, and, there, and then there's this one. So it's yeah. I mean, it's one of two. I like how um, I like how bulky it is. It's got two of the big Halo Reach um, like Emil shoulders. I forget which ones those are. The security shoulders. Mm -hmm. and, uh, the chest actually, you can't really see it because of how yellow it is. But I re like I mentioned uh, earlier, I did a repaint of it of that yeah. like up armored mark seven and there's actually like loads of detail on it yeah and you just yeah, can't really see is. it because of how bright that that's a figure that i definitely think would have benefited from like one of their one of the black washes they used to do on a lot of their figures but yep yeah i mean it's got a ton of incredible detail on it um dmr is okay i mean yeah, yeah it's a you know it's a dmr but i mean got as, red as arms and legs figure, as for the figure itself coming from my perspective it's a really good figure because uh, there was a time where security shoulders were really 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 rare so mm -hmm. now having mm -hmm. one one figure with two of them in a blind pack series uh, that yeah. makes it, it it's really nice for me because now they're easily accessible but they're a little um, loose though is that the mold mm, or what's going on there i it's probably just first like first production i mean I assume not all of them will be like that, but I mean, I, I know what you mean. Even mine, yeah. the shoulders are a little bit loose, but I assume yeah. it's just because it's such a new series. Okay. Hmm. Any hmm. any thoughts to add, Matt? I know you have one too. Um, I I, I like I said before, yeah, I'm not I'm not a huge fan of yellow, but the the detail in this is actually pretty pretty in, in intricate. Mm -hmm. I'd say that the chest the chest plate looks more Gears of War, just on on mm. how it it feels like it's like there's layers added on top of it mm. it's like um, the cog with the circles in it isn't it yeah and i love the helmet i love the helmet i think that they did some really nice paint applications on that where it's not just the whole bottom jawline's yellow or gray but you have yellow and gray in segments so i think that's kind of nice and i like the red the red's yeah. pretty nice and the and the dmr the new dmr it's nice to get more of these because these can add the the attachments and the scopes and the, oh, the weapons right. fires so yeah. it's nice to get a bunch of more of those because i'm a i'm a huge dmr fan so i'm happy to see more dmrs so anubis is new it, right that's a brand new helmet well yeah it was in halo 5 but this is the infinite version oh okay um, gotcha <laughs> i mean i'm into, I don't it. Know. I'm into I, it i like it it's i good, like good, how good anubis looked in halo 5 the infinite one is just way more rounded and smooth it kind of looks more like a halo 3 scout helmet than it does sure anubis yeah. to me but i mean gotcha i mean it's a nice it's a nice piece new molds from mega are always nice anyway but it's, yeah it's the first time we've had it for mega right mm -hmm. okay, i'm cool. gonna blow your yeah. mind here though gabe because you say uh -oh. that it was first introduced in halo 5 but actually, I think you will find Anubis in ancient Greek mythology oh, or boy. Egyptian mythology even. <laughs> Look at this wise guy over here. All right, let's move on to the Ultra. Matt, did you get an Ultra? I did get an Ultra. Okay. So I've had this I've had this guy for a bit. He was in our Christmas uh, uh, stop motion special. Yeah, right. Um, Okay, this guy has a – previously we had um, – it was in the Halo Heroes. We had the same kind of Ultra, but it was in a, a light gray variation. Mm -hmm. I must say that the dark gray works so much better, yeah. and it really does sell that Spec Ops kind of yeah. vibe that – especially – it kind of brings me to that mission, and I know we didn't have Ultras in it, but that mission where Arbiter – you the first time you play the Arbiter and you're out with all those elites and all yeah. the – the camo like yep. that that kind of color armor variation is kind of where i'm at yeah with it so uh i'm very impressed with it uh the carbine is a carbine it's not like anything super sure uh detailed or anything like that but that's you you get more detailed weapons in the heroes anyway yep. but mm -hmm. i i think this guy's uh pretty awesome yep yeah yeah i don't think yeah? i don't think i missed He's, anything really to add. color is really good the mold was good to begin with um yeah so 
I, I definitely echo. That's probably one of my favorites of, of the wave. And Yeah, I'm going to say he's my favorite of the wave. So yeah. Tom's going to ask questions because he hasn't had these yet. <laughs> he doesn't have these yet. Um, so what? it's going to be mostly um, Matt, <laughs> Gabe, and I having conversation about blind bag stuff. If, Gabe, if anyone did... wants to hook me up, slide in my DMs. <laughs> I will pay. I promise. <laughs> Gabe, did you have any thoughts to add? You don't have this one, right? I don't have the Ultra, um, and I'm probably not going to get it. I, I, oh, okay. I don't really like the Ultra Mold that much. Oh, sure. I mean, get out. maybe I'll maybe when they actually reveal it in Infinite, it'll grow on me a little bit. Yeah. But as for the figure itself, it's... Uh, there's nothing. I mean, there's it, nothing that really jumps out at me. I mean, it's cool, but yeah, to yeah. me, it's just it Would just kind of gets lost in all the other elites. Okay. Would we classify this as an infinite ultra mold, though? It looks yeah. like just an, a traditional ultra mold. It's uh, it's not the Halo Reach Ultra. It's definitely an infinite, and you can tell because the shoulders are the same as the Elite Major from the Infinite trailer as well. Oh, okay. Uh, cool. See, that's why we have you. That's why we hired you. Yep, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we pay the pay you the big bucks. All right, let's talk about the Mark Fives, the blue one. Um, Matt, you have this one, right? I do. Okay. All right, give me your thoughts. Uh. Oh, I do have that one. Don't. Because this one's got the the George. So it's thing got the, the George front, enhancements. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, I I I've never really been a fan of George's armor. Um, and the blue doesn't really help it on this one. Sure. So I, I think the gray is nice, and I like that it, you get an uh, assault rifle. But other than that, uh, probably one of my least favorite of this line. What is the thing that's the silver thing? <laughs> is it a canister holder? What is it? I don't know what yeah, that I'm is. Not sure it's the probably Lord like a, I'd assume it's like extra oxygen for extra vehicular activity. Okay, sure. Out in space. Oh, I thought it was a bomb. I'm like, Shh, just rip that off. This man's got a whole bomb on his chest, 24/7, yeah. while being shooting shot at people. At. Exactly. Nice. Yeah, man. Well, the the Spartan armor is a bomb. It self destructs if they. Yeah. True. Yeah. It already is. So so it's a bigger I, bomb. Uh, actually, I forgot. I have two of the blue. Um, oh, okay. Five B. I Your like thoughts? that figure a lot. Actually, okay. that's that's probably. I mean, considering all the other ones in the line, that's probably like my second or third. If I had to pick like a top three, actually, um, okay. one, see a lot of my opinions form because of my customization. <laughs> like, yeah, oh yeah. Because sure. the Mark, the Mark five comes with a Mark five B shoulder, which is like the yep. base reach shoulder, which is really easy for me to sculpt like recon, military police, gunner, and all the other ones. Mm -hmm. Um, but also that grenadier chest piece kind of hard to come by nowadays they sure you know it's very seldom that they put it in sets now that everything is infinite focus so it was nice seeing that again and it's a cheap way to get more of the assault rifles too mm -hmm. yeah that is i mean I, I, That's a good I point. really like the 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 mark 5b it yeah. kind of it almost it's annoying because it's so close but it's not it almost matches the um cqc power pack mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's like mm -hmm. literally a shade off Oh, the color, you're saying. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. But hmm. other than that, yeah, I, I really like that figure, actually. Cool. Hmm. Hmm. Let's keep going down the line. We'll talk about this Jackal Freebooter. Um, I, I'll i talk about it a little bit, and then I'll toss over Matt, because I think he has a couple of these, too. Um, I do not have any. Oh, you didn't I've get this one. one. Okay, so I Gabe has one. Yeah. Gotcha. So I, I'm into the red color. I think it's interesting, We've as we've talked about with Banished stuff, like you think Banished red because of Halo Wars 2. Yeah. All Banished are red in Halo Wars 2 because it's a... Uh, um, rts and like everything needs to be kind of the same color so you can tell the factions apart right but then when you look at halo infinite like it seems like they're doing lots of different colors for you know the freebooters yeah. and uh, the conscripts and you know kind of the different yeah. factions that are that are there meanwhile the banished are like in charge of everybody so they have a color scheme to their um to their uh, armor and, and whatnot but um I'm, I'm into the red though no i i, I like the red um I, you know it's the new the new mold for the jackal which which I dig. It looks bird-like and goofy, and um, you do get a nice shield as well, which has got some marbling in it. But yeah, overall, I'm happy being able. To, you know, I grabbed a couple of these for sure. When I actually, I think I grabbed an extra one of these. I didn't want to buy the whole box, but I did. I did buy all all of the jackals just because these are nice ones to have. Do you think that the shield should have been red? Hmm. Just because I of think the... it should have been. 
Um, just because of the banished, yeah. I well, sure. I, I, it seems weird that, um, like, if you look at Atriox's weapon, it has that a, yeah. red energy, yeah. and you have red energy swords. It would make sense that you have red. But he's a free uh, blue technically, shields. so he's yeah. not. Yeah, but necessarily... he's in the he's in the banished color. He's in sure. the banished color. They already. are. The jackals I'm just looking the, for a little more variety. Yeah. In the E3 gameplay trailer, they've got normal blue shields as mm. well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it would be nice if they were red. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, so what you're saying would... is we want red shields, Matt. <laughs> well, I'm just saying I yeah. think it'd be cool to distinguish between just different factions that they have different colors and technology. I think that's kind of sure. I think that's kind of a cool little little idea, like the Jedi and the Sith. Well, what but that's my first? point. Is like this guy isn't necessarily part of the banished faction, like. He's, he's just if, if he's a freebooter. Yeah, he's just red. Yeah, yeah. but anyway. Well, I mean, yeah, he's just got red armor. Might as well just have a red shield. <laughs> <laughs> come on, guys, come just, on. You can, you can, you can pay for the upgrade to get your jackals with red shields. That's it. Gave anything Not else? only can you change the armor, you can change the shield. Um, uh, well, it's about the shield. I'm surprised that since when did Mega start? Was like 2009, 2010. Yeah, 2008. That, I think it was. The, the shield is still like half the size that it should be. Yeah. It should be, yeah, it's right. Such a small piece, and I just wish it was bigger. Yeah, it feels um, smaller on this new mold too. For some reason, I think the marbling because it it, it's still like a marbled shield, isn't it? I don't have it in front yeah. of me right now, yeah. but I think the marbling and it's really nice. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, it's always nice to have more jackals. I, I guess this is the only other one they've released besides the warthog. Right. So it's. Yeah. it's good to get an easy way to have uh to like get a mass of jackals now especially in the new mold yep but yeah, yeah i actually cool. have something to add here oh i um oh, you don't yeah have any of these i, I actually how, have can, how can you add anything a contribution <laughs> um, well you get the exact same figure in the mercenary combat unit um, oh, oh, that's right. right. Yeah. Yeah. But I actually haven't had a massive problem with the size of the shield, and I know a few people have, purely because with the new articulation, there's a photo I've got of one somewhere I'll have to dig out where you can get it so it's like really nicely streamlined to the side of the figure, and it's like completely covering most of them with just like their plasma pistol popping out. And I think that like articulation kind of allows you to work around the size difference a little bit. Hmm. It's hmm. definitely manageable. It would just be more pleasing to me to look yeah. at a shield <laughs> that's actually like properly sized instead of like a yeah. plate. And like jewel printed so you got the gray like <laughs> outer rim around it, everything yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. I think I think scale and size brings me back a lot to what Kevin's talking about because if if you add a bigger shield you might not be able to fit more guys in your spirit. Or if you add a bigger shield, you might not be able to put these guys in, in a vehicle. So I get having wanting a bigger version, but I also think that scaling is also an issue. Yeah. Basically, what, guys. I, I would agree. I'm okay with it. What does the shield have to do with fitting a figure in a vehicle? Well, I'm just saying like if you wanted to fit um, a jackal – Right. Uh, troop in your spirit or in your phantom yeah they're popping it just out, takes right. up m- a bigger shield will take up more room and more studs so that you won't be able to put a guy next to him I, it's just a spacing issue no, it's I, nothing I see what you're, yeah i'm just saying that i can see if mega was like well we want to we want to be able to have scale with inside the ship so let's say in a phantom you can fit six jackals or i don't know how many yeah um and so if you add a bigger shield you can only fit four so then you then reduce the scale capacity of your phantom. How much space they can use, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So and I'd rather personally I'd rather be able to jam a bunch of more figures into a vehicle that you know, I think that yeah. that's more gameplay wise. And plus bigger bigger things tend to be um, more of an obstacle if you're stop motioning. So sure. that's, this is at the end of the yeah, day, does really size is. really matter? <laughs> uh... <laughs> this is a lot of talk about this shield. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else to add before we go on to the CQC? All right, let's talk about this green boy. Um, the CQC. Matt, did you have this one? I do have him. Okay. He's pretty legit. Uh, I have to say the helmet actually feels taller than other helmets. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, it has like it feels like there's more head in there. 
I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is for the smart Spartans. It's, it, well, like if you look at if you look at this guy, his head looks like it must be half the size. Look at that. <laughs> Take a look. Right. Half the size of that guy's head it's is like in that. Smushed. Look at that. Yeah. So this guy's yeah. this guy's for people with big heads. Got it. So I might be able to fit in there pretty good. Um, <laughs> I uh, I love the color. Yeah. I I think we've talked about this with like the banshee has that nice army green with the the tan. And I think that that really adds a, a nice little color contrast. Yep. We'll see it later in our in our ghost. So I'm happy with it. Um, so real quick on the color, this is the most we've seen, and you guys have to correct me, um, of like different forearm colors from the rest of the armor. It seems like they're accentuating that more in these because a, yeah. a lot of these have that, right? Normally they're all the same color. There's a lot more diversity with yeah. a lot of the initial reach line. It was all kind of the same sort of silvery metallic kind of, color. Yeah. 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 Okay. It's interesting now like that. I think they're But yeah, so it's got the playing off Sorry, the, the customizability, right, of, of Infinite. I think that's what they're trying to convey. The color yeah, the color the color coding. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's pretty neat. The coatings, right. Yeah. yeah. What I'm sorry, I, I'm blanking. What's the name of this weapon? The, the Mangler. Shot? Mangler. Mangler, thank you. Thank I might you. be yep. buying so, the nerf one tomorrow because tomorrow uh, is payday. Oh nice. I have one <laughs> So of my this closet. one's actually really nice. <laughs> this one's really nice. So I like having more of these. I like smaller brute weapons. Because brute weapons are so so cumbersome, you know. You yeah. get like the yeah. brute shot, you know. It's yeah. Like, so it's nice to have smaller. That's why I like the handheld. Yeah. yeah. But even this is better than that because it's got the what the mauler is the one with the fins, right? The the blades at the that's, bottom. That's Spike the spiker. Up. The mauler is Spike. just a little okay. pocket shotgun. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. That that was in reach. Well, this one has the, the spikes sets. on the bottom. I mean, this thing could be brutal in a, in a fight. This was, is also yeah. a, this is also. I can totally piece. see a brute taking the mangler and it dragging it across somebody Ugh. like that. Maybe it gets spikes. embedded in someone's skull, like yeah. they hit down on top Especially of it. Especially those right. Spartans with the big heads; <laughs> it'll get stuck up there. Hey, look! <laughs> all I'm saying is, is that if you're playing this guy, uh, what, no, if you're playing this guy. This kid's getting headshot all the time. <laughs> right, right. That's why people used to play the elites because it was harder to headshot them. Got the bigger hitbox. That's right. All right, let's talk about the. Let's see what do we have left? The conscript. So I think we have exhausted Matt for his thoughts now. Gabe, did you get a conscript? <laughs> did you get a grunt? Uh, yeah, I've got one. Okay. So what do you think of this purple, purple little dude? Purple one. Yeah. yeah. Um. Kind of tired of it at this point. <laughs> this mold, yeah. yeah How I'm dare you? Is it because of the, the the face? I mean, the face mask is newer, where it pulls off. Are you, are you the, kind of over that um, feature? The CE face mask on a Halo Reach mold being promoted as an infinite. I don't know. It's a confu- It confuses me to look at. <laughs> it's just a big. Sure. I mean, it's a big mix up. But I'm. It's also. I mean, I'm just. I feel like. We, we've just gotten so many. There's this one. There's one in the skiff. I think there's one in the ghost. There's one yeah. in the. There's two in the um, ghost. There's one in that little Dollar General turret. There's one in, like two blind in bag general, series you mean, before. Or this this. Okay, I got. I got to kick back on that. As back in the olden days, where they would never give you any grunts. Yeah. yeah. And now to say that that. <sighs> that where like uh, this plethora, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna knock it. Like a more covenant, yes. I'm just grunting I... at the thought of it. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, having covenants cool, but I'd rather have covenant vehicles than Banished. the same figure twenty times. I mean, but you're the figure personal. guy. I know that should mean something. <laughs> I, I would rather. I don't know. I, I don't would... know anything anymore. Our roles are all wrong. I would. Ra- I don't know. I'd rather have more vehicles instead of like the same grunt over and over but i mean like okay. the grunt's cool and i'm glad you know it's it's the easiest like fodder for the banished or the covenant you know yeah. it, it makes sense for for them to include it it's just personally i'm not going to army build anymore because i already have a whole bunch of them yeah but i mean for what it is the figure is you know it's nice i like getting it in purple i'll give it that what would you color uh what would you consider this color is it it's like a it's darker than lavender right Indigo. Yeah, it's like a violet. Yeah, yeah, I'm into, I'm into oh, the color. Violet, the grunt. <laughs> and I, I like how they come pre-built too. I think we already talked about. Yeah, that. these things are kind of pain I, in your fingers. Big respect to build. for that. Yeah, I think they probably listened to uh, 
community feedback on that. All to right. the show, yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Let, let's talk. Thanks, about, guys. Let's talk about the trailblazer, the camo. You can't even see it. I'm, what, I'm not holding anything, right? What You're not this? holding anything, no. no. Exactly. Yeah. What, what the heck, Colin? Yeah. Um. So it comes with a bulldog, <laughs> which is cool. And I'm 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 okay with the bulldog. I know a lot of people don't like it because they like the other. Shotgun, I love it. No, I, I, I love yeah. that, I especially in active camo. Yeah, Put one yeah. of the red dot scopes on top of it, and it looks oh, incredibly yeah. tactical. Right, the trip. Well, it's the one of the only guns you can hold with both hands, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, good point. The Trailblazer is new uh, armor, or is it has this been retread? Also, it's new for spring. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's it's blazing that trail of new figures because <laughs> it's in heroes as well. Okay, <laughs> so we we have not a lot we can say about it because we can't see it, but Gabe will cover off on the mold. When we talk about yeah. heroes, I, was, I mean, so why don't I, we... I also have the active camo, okay. the Trailblazer. I mean, it's the same. Um, the chest piece that it uses is the same as the Anubis in the Ghost set. Oh sure, yep, I see that. I've uh, secret. I've painted the active camo <laughs> Trailblazer. <laughs> oh, you have. Okay. So I've seen. Wait, so the I've seen. You've seen the, the detail? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Trailblazer has the same chest plate as the Anubis in the Ghost. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the light square. Really. One. The mm-hmm. one with like the little bricks across yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I I like that chest plate. No, I, I, I like it. I just blade. was thinking of how. It so the, looks like the bricks. trail, the trailblazer has more to do with the helmet then. Yeah. Than the actual armor. I think so. Yeah. yeah. It, it's it's always cool. it's always been like that. I mean, it's yeah. Yeah, it's it's always about the helmet, like the Anubis or something mm-hmm. like that. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Hmm. So it's nice to have a camo, and I think in the group, and as Kevin said, we are split fifty fifty four four banished or four four bad guys four good guys and the final piece is the phantom. Baby phantom the chunky phantom that's right and i think they did a good job of recreating the phantom as it as it was designed um in halo wars does it 2. even have a stuttering frame rate <laughs> um You're as it was in trouble <laughs> as it was designed in that trailer um that we saw the gameplay tra- um, i guess the game the gameplay um, it looks very similar to that, um, and it looks similar to the flying brick, yeah. To well, yeah, it, it looks similar to, to Brickman's mock, right? So I, th- I think it's a cool little piece. Um, it'll it'll be interesting to see if it does get redesigned at all in Halo Infinite. I know it took some criticism the way that it looks, but um, as as far as I'm concerned, it's you know it's game accurate, and it's nice. It is nice having a you know a drop ship for the banished and a drop ship for the UNSC yeah. in micro form. It yeah. doesn't match my. I don't, you probably can't see my micro fleet way back there in my my shelf, but it is up there. So it obviously doesn't scale, but um, it's as it's m- nice having one of each. I as much shade as I throw at the banished phantom, it actually fits the brutes really well as like a, a blockier, yeah. beefier kind of vehicle. Because yeah. the, and they're bigger beings to begin with. So yeah, exactly. yeah, exactly. I have to admit, all of the micro fleet stuff since I got the ones that you were kind enough to get for me, Colin. Yeah. It's really made me want them to branch out and maybe do like a collector's line of more stuff yeah. in that scale. Mm-hmm. I think like spaceships and maybe like micro scale models of vehicles yeah. and things that have got slightly more detail would be really awesome. I wouldn't doubt if they're mm-hmm. they're working on that sort of stuff. You know, with all the mm-hmm. shelf pieces that we mm-hmm. got from Target last year, I, th- I bet you there's going to be more stuff like that. Hopefully more helmets and then, yeah, it would be cool to get yeah, a little micro fleet. Cool. Even like that'd a bigger legit. scale would be cool. Yeah. All right, let's move on to the ghost. Um, Tom, why don't you take oh, it? Oh, hi. <laughs> yeah, I have this one. Um, so the the ghost is an interesting one to me, mainly because I spent a lot more time with it earlier today, actually, because I was shooting another comparison video with the old one. Yeah. Um, and while I was looking at them side by side, it kind of made me realize that this is a nice build that uses a lot of specific pieces to kind of get the shape and texture, but it really kind of takes away a lot of the detail of the original build. Yeah. So when you look at the original build, there's things like um, simulated blue pieces to make it look like it's floating. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you've got the nice plasma turrets, you've got printed details on the back, and none of that's really present on the new one. So I like the new one. But I, I just, I feel like it it's took it back to basics. And yeah, like you say, it kind of streamlined it. The profile was a little bit less detailed, 
when you look at it from the side, it feels a little bit more skeleton, mm-hmm. um, which isn't a bad thing. It's just an interesting observation to make with it. Yeah. Um, and the way I, I kind of described it in the comparison is the original one feels like an original ghost, and this maybe feels like it's taking more design cues from the more modern Covenant in Halo 5 and beyond. Banished. Um, but beyond that, about the vehicle itself... Um, the rebuild is quite nice. You can put together a little banished barrier and a turret. Um, if you actually build it properly, unlike I did in our review, <laughs> then it looks pretty decent. And I think a few of them lined up will create quite a cool banished barricade. Um, and in terms of figures, the set really shines here. It's got a Spartan Anubis with the kind of brick-style torso, as Gabe mentioned. Mm. Um, You get a black MA-40, which I know a lot of people wanted for a long time because we were just getting them in the grey colour. You get a Brute Warrior, who is a repack from the Mercenary Combat Unit. We'll talk about a little bit later if we get time. Um, But he's got a different shoulder plate, as Matt is pointing to. (laughs) Um... (laughs) And you also get two grunts in this one as well. So you get a grunt Imperial and a grunt Conscript. And I think, obviously, the red plasma pistols are a really nice touch and something you don't get in any other packs. Matt, this is getting so off <laughs> Um But also, <laughs> it's just a really nice way to kind of um, build up your banished forces. And I think the way I summed it up when I first reviewed this is that it takes the principle of Recon Getaway, which is an easily amassable uh, vehicle and easily amassable figures, and then carries that formula over here, but gives you more Banish than UNSC this time. Yeah, I think if you got mm. a friend that eat, that is looking for some stuff, or you got a kid that wants you know some stuff to play with, just get him a ghost and get him the the mongoose set, and then yeah. eight figures, two little vehicles, like you can do a lot with that, right? And for yeah, a good exactly. price point. Yeah, they're a very nice versus set. Mm-hmm. I, I gotta say, Tom, I really appreciate you calling the grunt by its proper name. <laughs> I'm getting really tired of seeing people say, "Oh, the grunt conscript." It's not a grunt conscript. It's the Grunt Imperial from Halo. The Imperial. <laughs> Stop yeah. it. Sure. I'm sorry. That's what they call the description that. too. So, so they did that right. No, but this, the conscript you get one of each, right? So you get one of mm-hmm. one. Yep. Imperial, yeah. One conscript. Yeah. yeah. And the the Imperial design continues to be awesome. I love these little. Oh yeah, dude. Canister things yep. you can take off. Yeah, yeah I was that's legit. Dying for an Imperial for years. I flipped out when they started making these. I'm literally on the fence of paying. Um, triple retail price to get another one Mm. of the season one blind bag ones just because the blind bags aren't actually out here but i really love the orange one so i'm like "Uh, maybe i'll pull the trigger it's taking me back to the blind packs we were talking about earlier if that purple grunt colin was an imperial i would have been over the moon Mm. (laughs) yeah that would look nice or what if it was a ranger so you're dissing this poor grunt just on class Yes, yes, I am. <laughs> it's okay because they're aliens. <laughs> Welcome to the Builds with Blocks episode where we get cancelled. <laughs> All right, okay. so wait, hold on. Um, the go or do you have any more thoughts, Matt? Why don't you go? Yeah, I was just gonna say I think Tom summed up excellently yeah. just the the contrast between these two ghosts. Um, I'll say if you could take these two ghosts and just <clears throat> them together. Yeah you might be able to have one of the best ghosts because uh, I've never been really a fan of this uh, this sure, head yeah. cover. Mm-hmm. But I like that, like the Banshee, we're getting a solid piece yeah. that is the, is the front. It gives it that more of a more of a, uh, in-game angle because obviously building that piece can't capture that angle. Um, this design is a lot, it, it, I would say it's stripped down. Um, yeah. It is nice to see the the flick fire missiles, and yeah, I think the cool. the idea of having it rest on the two bits are pretty pretty awesome. Um, one thing I'll say is you got to be careful because if you try to fire them, you can end up taking off the whole. It's it's not oh, that um, yeah, just two. It's stuns, not that right? sturdy. So yeah. when you when you have it, it works better if it's on the ground and you just push from up. So if, don't try to like fire it from here, or right, else you'll right. just kind of. They're not like part part of the build, right? They're like yeah, just tacked exactly. on, on the well, bottom. Well, it's 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 meant to it's meant to to rest like yeah. you're flying it on ground. So right. a little unevenness, it might you end up 
you know, obviously you're using these pressure points to launch the missile, so you're pushing down a yeah. little bit. Yeah. So you're exerting some force on the build. But um, like I'll say, I think the best part about this build is the this uh, this piece in the front right here because yeah. it's got that it's got it 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 pairs very well with the banshee. So I'm yeah. very happy yeah. with that. I think it's an awesome army build set. Um, uh, it, I think having different color like just having different color schemes with uh like different weapons or different shoulder pads i think just adds little details to to army building that just kind of make it better to collect you know instead of just all of them having the same color that's definitely a set because i don't really get into set collecting anymore but that's definitely a small set that i wouldn't even mind having like three or four of it it looks yeah yeah really nice and and this spartan I love the I love the, yeah, the chest plate on dope. it. Yeah, yeah. The with the Anubis helmet, like so. If you took the old Anubis from the blind bag, and then you had this one, this one, the chest plate, the color scheme. Yeah, I like that. This I is awesome. That, I know? think yeah. that setup just works a lot better. Yeah, yeah. And and this armor is really neat because it has these, it the like the armor that goes underneath almost kind of looks like weapon cartridge pouches or mm-hmm. something where you would put something right there. Yeah, oh, I don't know if you can see that, but so. I, I'm very happy with it, and again, we get a, a black assault rifle, so yeah. that's legit. Yeah, um, so, you did. Sorry, I know I don't want us to stay fine. on this too long, but yeah. you did um, remind me actually of one thing I noticed when I was doing the review, which is it's called um, it's like hijacked ghost, isn't it? But yeah. yep. everything on it is smooth, so there's nowhere where you can actually peg a figure's foot on and make it look like they're boarding it to take it. Right. Um, which was just an interesting observation I had compared to the mm. original one. Mm-hmm. That's a good point. Mm. That is interesting. I do, and I did mention this in in the last episode. I think it was when we talked about reach sets and stuff. I I, I would prefer, like, I look at, and I know it's a small set, but I look at the um the pelican. Like it's yeah. ton of, it's a ton of pieces, but not many custom pieces. Like they they worked out all the angles with pieces that for the most part that already exist, but then the little mm. banished which has a smooth you know hood for the lack of a better term, is just one piece and it's a custom piece. So I personally would have liked to build that. So I kind of like yeah. lean towards I like the build of the original banished ghost, but I do like the look of this one. Like once that when it once it is built and in hand, like it I'm, looks very I'm nice. I'm dying to see it in purple. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> like mm-hmm. that mold, but in purple would be gorgeous. Yeah. Same yeah. with the banshee, well, even. There are three pieces that come with this. You get like the little front shield, yep. and then you get this little top but part it's not, on. Yeah, that's so not. So it's, it's not, but but like this yeah. part right here is, is uh, it actually kind of looks very um. Halo Four, the the ghost. Yeah. Oh, has that. Nice. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's move on. Uh, mini helmets. I am the only one that has the mini helmets, and I'm going to do a terrible job because my, well, I have one hand that doesn't work, but um, lifting this up to the camera just to prove that I have it, the yellow guy. So and I did find this at Walmart. Oh, sorry. Um, back to the ghost real quick. Um, ghost was only on Amazon. I haven't found it on shelf yet. I'm sure it'll be on shelves at some point, but... It's a lot wider available here, actually. Is it? Okay. It's available right now on Jurassic Toys... But Amazon on, and Smiths only online though, right? Not on shelf. Yeah, only yeah. online. Yeah. Okay. Although I've I've not been to a Smith store for over a year, so sure. it might be that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> helmet. Um, I will show it here. There we go. Proof that I own the helmet. Um, the helmet Jeez. is at Walmart, and they're tiny, little teeny tiny guys. Um, <laughs> and I didn't know what to think of them at first. Um, I wish I had full functioning two hands to show you, but um, let me show you the other helmet really quick. I'm sure somebody has done a comparison at some point. Tom with the OGs. Yep. So there's the OG, and I'll hold this up, and the rest of the set. So I'm guessing the new ones are a lot smaller then. Um, The new ones are quite a bit smaller. Yeah, that's drastically downsized. Yep. Um, But it's grown on me quite a bit, and it's. I have the other helmet. Maybe I'll I'll send a picture so we can show of all three helmets: the buildable helmet, then the original helmet, and then this little one. Um, but it's grown on me. I really, I like the plastic that it uses. It's like a thicker plastic and it's matte, um, whereas the other plastic is definitely thinner. Um, you know, it's it's a gloss. Go ahead. Is hmm. the back of the helmet still like a base plate? Yep, back of the helmet is open, so and then the base plate okay. is yeah, is this thing. Yeah. Nice. So, hmm. 
So I, I, I'm, it's interesting to, you know, I'd, I'd love to dig in a little bit more with, um, with the crew, uh, the MCX crew, to see where the idea came from and how they kind of brought it back. Um, I do, I, I like how they reconfigured it. It, it. It's better for like, like if you want it as a shelf piece, which is this kind of what this is, right? Um, it's less conspicuous, in more, hmm. in, more inconspicuous, um, because th this, this, the other one is just so, so big. But I, I yeah. feel like I can. I, I had these previously displayed on my shelf back there, just kind of through, through wide across, and it, they looked good together. Um, the only, nice. the thing that's a little weird, and I'm just gonna Where's broadly. <laughs> where, where did Tom go? <laughs> where did he go? <laughs> The thing I'm going to mention just broadly, um, I, I, I said I had the skull, um, the Masters of the Universe skull. Yeah. And the build of the, at least the one that I did, which is the um, half jaw, which is a super rad um, character, by the way. Like, there's a lot more pieces, and the the build is there's more there. Then all of these builds are very, very simple. So it's really, you're getting, you know, and it's good value still, but you're getting the helmet, which is a display piece, and then you're getting two nice figures, and then a couple little accessories. So yeah. um, I, I think I, I could see people passing on this. If you're a completionist, you want it. If you if you like display pieces, you're going to want these. Um, another reason to, to get them is if you haven't acquired one of the, um, well, I'll take it off here, one of the skulls, which is pretty cool in, in this yellow set. That's you get a skull that you can use. I yeah. desperately want the yellow mm, one. It's the only mm. set that the printed one comes in as well. Yeah, so it's got a printed That's forehead so too. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that, do you yeah. think they'll keep doing that? You think they'll put skulls in other sets and stuff? I hope so because they I think they came up with a mold from the Predator stuff, right? Yeah. yeah. So they decided yeah. to keep using yeah. it. I mean, it makes sense. Well, now that they have the mold, I don't and see why not. That's another. Um, that's another Anubis in that freaking helmet, isn't it? Yeah. That, so there is. <laughs> so we've got Anubis. like four. <laughs> yep. yep. Exactly. So there is another and, Anubis in the silver coloring, which is nice. And then we have a, a Mark Seven. Is that what I? Well, another Mark else? Seven there. Oh no! It's a Keystone. Oh. It's called a Keystone. Oh, um, wow. cool. Yep, so it is a little bit different than the Mark 7 helmet. But, is um, there a... Interesting. Um, so there's that one, and then I, I won't show. We'll just do a, a screenshot of the other two. I have the blue. The nice thing that they that isn't apparent on the um, the Capture the Flag one is you do get a red flag and a blue flag, which oh, I wasn't okay. sure about right away because they only showed the one. And uh, But, yeah, you do get both, which is nice. So if you do want to have some Capture the Flag set up, you will get both flags as a part of that. And they're actually a little bit transparent, too. I believe the oh, cool. previous flags are have all been like a solid yeah, plastic. Yeah, so opaque. And, yeah, and these ones you can you can see through them a little bit, which is cool. Cool. Um, but yeah, the, you know, solid figures on that, and then um, again, just a small little build. You get the flag build, and then you get a little um, one of those um, crates or you know what do they call like fuel cells or something like you can pull Covenant up. Crate? Yeah, the fusion coils. <laughs> yeah, the fusion coils. There you go. Um, oh, coming in case. Yeah, and then the green one is the uh, last Spartan standing. So you get a Goonier yeah. and then a Recon in that one. Um, and then so one of them is the the infected with uh, the cool green oh. uh, energy sword, too. And that, that yeah, gives you a little piece a while. to jump, like, to, so you could do it like a, one's jumping off mm. the top of the mm. helmet on top of the other one. So, yeah. Um, overall, um, you know, I think they are neat little pieces, but again, I could see people passing on them, or I could pe see people just getting them for the figures because they're, they're nice figures, yeah. and then you know, using putting the, uh, the helmets away. But I do like these little helmets. I think I do like these helmets better than the original ones. Again, they're, they're, the plastic is um, it feels sturdier. It's like a thicker plastic, and I like the matte look to them as well. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Well, bravo. All right, um, kind of blaze through that, but why don't we talk about the, so th this one is a spring, well, it's not a spring wave set, it's actually a fall wave set. Let's talk about the mercenary uh, combat unit in the in the um, UNSC combat units, because we haven't really yeah, covered should... up on those, Matt's, or, and Tom's the only one that has them. How yeah, we should that? talk about who you had to kill to get that. Thing, <laughs> yes. They are so, so rare. J just to clarify, something that the Brit has got that the U.S. guys haven't There we got. go, how, yep. How does that happen? Well, um, it, was, it was imported, though, right? It was, but a, would you steal a from very the Canadians? kind person who I would like to shout out, um, Coulter, um, actually sent me a message on Facebook, and it went into my like spam requests. Oh. And usually, if if someone's messaging me like, "Yo, do you want to buy Mega Blocks?" I'd be like, "I'm not sure." But he was like, "Oh, I've helped a few other content creators out. I can help hook you up with this." And I was like, "Yeah, that'd be really cool." Um, Basically ended up getting, I got three of them, two of the mercenary unit and one of the UNSC one, 
for the okay. recommended retail price. So I was very, very wow. happy. Wow, that's awesome. Um, what a steal. Yeah. So the mercenary combat unit is basically a banished pack, although obviously they're called mercenaries. Mm-hmm. Um, you get free figures and free micro builds. Um, I am blanking on... No, I can remember what He's one of the builds is. He's forgetting his script. All good. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so I'll go over the builds first. You get a banished barricade, which is very similar to the one that's in turret takedown. Matt? But Matt? obviously... Mm-hmm. You know, always want to get more banished structures, scenery pieces. It's really useful, yep. especially those yep. barricades that are True actually banished. the game design. Um, you get a plasma turret, which is the Halo 5 design from the Requiem Lance pack. That's the pack that it was introduced okay. with, but in an exclusive red color for the banished. And that's um, flick fire, correct? That is like you press it down yeah. and it shoots mm-hmm. just like yeah. all of the vehicles. Um, and then you also get a small forerunner structure that's very similar in size to the one that was included in the Repex Siege Bike, um, hmm. but it's a lot bigger oh, than it. Okay. So it's a, a fair, fair bit bigger, fair bit taller. So you get those three mini builds, and then the three figures, you get a Brute Warrior, which is basically a repack of the one from the Ghost. Um, although I believe he's got a different shoulder plate that's a different colour, or it might be the same one. Um, you get a red Jackal Freebooter, and they released initially in this before they released in Series 2. And then the exclusive figure is a red Elite Ultra. Hmm. Um, and interestingly to note, this set is the only one so far that includes a visual effect for the shock rifle, which oh, is yeah. a blue version of the flame piece um, cool. that mm. goes in like the rocket launchers and the flame oh, wow. So That yeah, shock rifle's going to be fun to play around with, I feel like. Yeah, I've yeah, got a lot of like like things in action. Yeah. 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 Have you guys ever played Battlefront 2, the, the original one? There was like a shock weapon that had that kind of like it shot electricity. Was it, I feel it like was that's like the E caster or something, wasn't it? Yeah, it yeah. was for the Dark Trooper. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that's what it's going to kind of uh, be akin to. Yeah, that could be quite cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this it's a good pack. It's fourteen ninety nine. Not really as good value wise, I would say, as something like Recon Getaway. Sure. Um, but still a pretty decent addition for people who are wanting to army build. Mm-hmm. Um, army and build then, in Canada. Yeah, yeah, Canada exclusive at the moment. Although it What's is going to release at Dollar General eventually. So yeah, it was definitely to, yeah. keep your eyes peeled. Um, and then this is complemented by the UNSC Combat Unit which comes with a Spartan Mark Seven, two UNSC Marines, and also three mini builds. The three mini builds here are a terrain plate with a UNSC flag and a barrel. Um, the barrel, I just put some of the fire effect pieces that come with it in. A um, turret that's one of the firing turrets that was first introduced in the Oni Strike Team. Uh, but this time in the metallic green colour. And actually the build for that is quite nice and complete. I took that and put it on my um, mock structure I made with the builder's box. So that was quite a useful piece to have. Mm -hmm. And then the third piece is just a little wall with some sandbags on top of it that pairs really well with the turret and makes a turret emplacement. Um, The three figures here are unique. The Spartan Mark Seven is the same colour as the one in the platoon pack, and mm, it has some of the same highlights, but there's, mm. like, basically the chest has got some very slightly different paint highlights that make it unique, um, hmm. where there's some details not painted on this one that are painted in the platoon pack. It's literally that one and the yellow one that Colin got in the helmet. Those are the only two Mark Sevens that I need, and it's <laughs> killing me, dude. <laughs> really honestly this I, like, one's so close. i thought you said I, there was too many marks no there yeah. are too many but now i need every color you need them all <laughs> now i need, need the rainbow all. Catch them all. so when you, when you get them you need to take a picture of all right like, i will i just got a green one i got the green one from the skiff in that big lot oh perfect so nice. you get question yeah, yeah question tom the yeah. marines are we talking the right size marines or the the original they're the taller ones so they're mm. the original style still 
Um, interestingly, I thought that these two were direct repackages from the Platoon Pack. So I thought that they were the Demolitions and the Sniper from the Platoon Pack, but they're not. The mm. male Marine in this one has got different facial hair colour, uh, and he's got lighter brown skin than in the Sniper Pack. And the female Marine has got darker colours um, on her hair than in the Platoon Pack. So they are unique Marines to this set as well. Wow. Um, and there that, that a... male Marine especially, his skin tone... I was really fascinated by it because I thought it might have been the same as Brohammer's. Um, so I did some comparisons and it's not. It's a unique skin tone that's not in any of the other sets. Um, hmm. So if and you are looking... Go ahead, Colin. They're the tall ones, right? Because they're not... Yeah, they're the tall yeah. ones. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys think that maybe the reason why it's taking so long for those sets to get to the US is because they're switching them to the... Oh, shorter legs that could be or a like reason. maybe it's maybe impossible. they're they're willing to they're gonna hold until they can release the mm. shorter leg I think sets into the u.s part yeah. of it's probably to do with dollar general stock because dollar general right yeah. now is selling off a lot of the fire team packs yeah um so i think once they clear those you will then start to see well, the newer stuff popping up i went to a, a dollar general a few weeks ago and found a freaking um a spartan customizer pack the yellow and white yeah. mark six pack. yeah from like 2015. That's from a while ago. Yeah, exactly. yeah. I was shocked. <laughs> yep, I found those too. They still have the yeah. uh, the what is it the um, the blue um, Spartan pack too with the flag mm -hmm. capture yeah. flag set. Like they have a lot of those. Anyway, so yeah, both combat units are cool. Um, nothing too unique about them. Um, the way I would phrase it is if you're someone like Matt who has got a really amazing mock that you want to just keep adding stuff to then these are some fun little scenery yeah. pieces that right, you could yeah. just kind of tack onto it but beyond that I don't think they're the kind of things that people will miss out on unless they are completionists yeah mm. okay cool nice. yeah I've, mm. I haven't reached for that one I'm waiting like you know, you can buy stuff online for higher prices yeah. and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. I haven't reached for that one because I, I do want it. I, I want at least one, um, you know, just to have it as a part of the collection. But I'm willing to wait until it finally, you know, comes to the U.S. I've got a contact, boss man, when you're ready. I feel like uh, well, this. I feel I'm like saying this I'm, I'm okay waiting. Like, I'm okay driving I'm the dollar I'm happy to general. be your dealer. <laughs> okay. I just feel like those sets are sort of like if I see them, I'll get them. But, like, I'm not really going to chase them down. Sure. Yeah. I, mean, I will say if I do, I'd probably grab the Covenant one because if I wanted to get more Marines, I'd go for the Platoon Pack. Yeah. But where can you buy the Platoon Pack, Matt? Amazon. Well, do you, it's it's in the U.S. On Amazon. You can get it. I think, the, I, think it I have Amazon. seen them on, at Walmart. Maybe were there pictures? Yeah, maybe well, Walmart's Canada. rewriting it through Toy Whiz or something they're releasing like that. So you know in they're like... Targets in California, so maybe they'll come oh, to more okay. stores. Yeah, they'll be. Well, they'll it looks be here like eventually. I need to message my friend and get another one. <laughs> many, Why don't we talk about the platoon pack really quick? Just really quickly, because we've talked about it a, a, a lot. I feel like we do have a review out yeah. there, um, but I want to get to the um, I don't know the, our, the the best the meat of this thing, which is the heroes. You know, and Gabe has that one. I want I want to get through that. But let's just talk about the platoon pack a little bit. So it's nice having the shorter legs, right? We've talked about that. Um, mm -hmm. It has a bunch of marine variety. Um, yeah. the, the Spartan's good. Um, you know, the orange is a little bright, but I, and again, we I wish that um, it had some <laughs> some more weathering on it. But if you want to get a bunch of Marines, you know, definitely yeah. grab this thing. Yeah, um, and I think and I think it will be more readily available. It was available on Amazon right away for MSRP, and then it went away. Yeah. People bought them out. Um, I have a feeling that this this is going to be on shelves eventually here. Oh, I think soon. it will come back. Yeah. It was number one trending on Amazon at one point for construction yeah. toys. Yeah, wow. it's a good set. It's so a great set. It will definitely come back. And I think to summarize it with two very Brit British words, it's bloody fantastic. <laughs> All right, cool. Anything else to add from either you two? Or you guys don't have it yet, right? Gabe or... No, I, I've never nah, even okay. seen it. No, I... I got two. Oh, you did get two. That's right. Yeah, I remember you didn't yep. have it right away, and then you. I'm not. You did yeah, I know. I did. Uh, I did a comparison of them on one of our episodes, yep. with just showing the the different legs. Uh, I believe that was huge. Uh, yeah. it might just be my. It might be one of my favorite sets. So, like, if we ever got to like a, a top ten infinite line, <laughs> it it's it's up there for me. Is it's it? just okay. figures. It's just up. It's just figures. But I'm a huge fan of these Marines, and I think yeah. the fact that Mega went back and made them shorter yeah. really just 
you know, I, I think it's a, a huge step. Uh, I think the custom the customization that are come with yeah. these Marines right. uh, is top notch, and so uh, I'm very happy with it. I think it's one, well, I think it's one of the coolest one of the coolest sets out there. Better right. than the mammoth. Stop! Uh, no. Stop! All right, here we go. No. Here we go. All right, no. so we say we saved best for last. Um, I think we're doing pretty good on time, so we'll give uh, gave a little breathing room um, to talk yeah, about this. Yeah. But but I'm gonna put you on the spot. All right. Uh-oh. So you're okay. gonna have to talk to talk about them in reverse order of your favorite. So like my so favorite. You so you give us number five. There favorite, are five. So, so remember we had we had, we had six to start to with. Okay, perfect. So we had six to start with. Um, Delay happened. Somebody's not in there anymore. We can do, you know, we can guess down the road. It's it's the Miranda figure. See, Miranda (laughs) comes back from the dead. Right. (laughs) And that's why there's a figure of her. But that's why they haven't made a figure. It's George. All right. We do get five. All right. Give me the bottom one. So talking about Halo Heroes Series 13, for one, before I even talk about the figures, these, I don't know what's up with these, but these are incredibly hard to find. I don't think I've seen anybody west of like or east of like oklahoma getting any of these like eastern seaboard I think it's, is completely blank it's the delay yep. i think because there's but, still yeah. a lot of boxes of 12 on the shelf yeah so i think that's why. but now that i have them in hand um i can officially say chief oh hold on hold on it's Focus. not gonna work but you know <laughs> we'll put it on chief there it is. It works. He's focused. <laughs> Chief is definitely my least favorite. Okay. And not in terms of like it's a bad figure. It's just we've gotten him six other times and I'm tired of it. I mean, it's just sure. What's up? Really quick, really quick. You can grab Chief, this Chief on Amazon. I've seen him. He's about ten ninety nine. So if you really oh. wanted Chief from the blind bag, you can snatch him up. For the yeah, there you go. Heroes. Take note okay. of that, people. But I mean, I understand why. Like Kevin said, when we talked to him, um, you know, I know that it's like an easy way for people to get such an iconic character um, yeah. if they just want the one. So I mean, it makes sense. But like, I can't really tell if there's anything different about him. He's got like the lightest dry brush possible. It's very, mm-hmm. very, very light silver. Mm-hmm. But otherwise, I mean. The battle rifle has some cool paint decals. It's like the two-tone, like, gunmetal gray with the black. Um, Mm -hmm. And it's really nice to have more Halo 3, Halo 2 battle rifles again. I'm really happy about that. But, I mean, as for a Chief figure, I mean, it's just standard Master Chief. Uh, Which which Chief is the best out of what we've we've gotten, in your your opinion? In my opinion, the one with the dirty boots that came with the turret. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I like that. Defense defense point. Yeah. If you had to... Sorry, go ahead, Matt. No, go ahead. I was gonna say I noticed in every review I did that had a chief figure. In each review, I said that that chief figure was my favorite version. Of course, they just keep going. It's ever the newest one. If you had to get, if you had to compare in, uh, this series chief to chiefs that we've gotten previously, which mm-hmm. one is he closer to? The warthog one, just the clean slate okay. master chief. He's nice. he's very so, very very close to that one. I thought he might have like just looking at the picture. I thought he might have had more of like that metal scraping, like he did. No, in that, that that's what I'm saying. Set. Like he does, but it's so light that it's almost you can't even see it un- okay. unless so he... you turn it a specific way. Okay, so good for me because my favorite is uh, Warthog Chief. Yeah, so. yeah, just the clean basic Chief. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second, um, second least favorite figure. <laughs> <laughs> the fo- your number, fourth favorite your fourth number favorite. Chief my did. fourth favorite figure um i'm uh hmm. spartan man i didn't i didn't see it is I'm, that a mark I, seven we've never got any of them i'm, I'm tired of the mark seven man but um, you need them all but you just said you wanted to no more. <laughs> listen listen i need all of them but i hate it <laughs> Like, I'm an addict, Matt. I can't help myself. Oh, you're, Gabe, you're do talking... you need an intervention here, buddy? You're talking to might. an addict. I just might. I mean, as far as Mark 7s go, this one actually, I guess, Colin, you might, I mean, maybe you'd have to show a picture or something that we can put up. But, I mean, it's blue and silver. It looks like it would pair great with the Anubis from the yellow helmet. Mm-hmm. It looks oh, like yeah. it would pair really well. 
Yeah. Um, <laughs> Kevin Kevin talked about it pairing well with another Mark Seven that came pack with one. the. Yeah. Was it the what is the blind pack? Yeah. He, he said the idea you... was that across all of the Mark Sevens, you should have all the different armor pieces you'd need yeah. to create your ideal Mark Seven, basically. Right. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. It with does. Different colors, um, and I'm not. I mean, because it's a hero's wave, I'm tempted to believe that the designs are a little more accurate. But he does have that up armored chest piece we were talking about earlier, and yeah. it does have really, really crisp paint. Um like printed decals on it and so does the helmet but that's why i'm starting to think maybe this is what it looks like in game or close to sure um well it's got the up armor chest mm. piece it's got one um security shoulder and then a mark 7 shoulder and then it comes with the a um a printed bulldog shotgun which is okay. in like a, cool. a nice matte gray and then the rail cool. is uh, black but I mean, it's yeah. Mm -hmm. As far as uh, as, as far as Mark Seven Spartans go, um, you know, it's not. It's neat. <laughs> it's. I'll give it that. It's neat. Yeah. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. Coming in third on the Halo mm -hmm. Heroes mm -hmm. Series Thirteen. <laughs> Trailblazer. Trailblazer. Okay. So. So all of the UNSC is the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit. I'm j I like I've said in the past. I'm tired of UNSC. I want yeah. Covenant and Banished, mm -hmm. and like I, I want more enemy types. But Trailblazer looks pretty nice. Yeah, um, he does. I think other than mm. in the blind packs with the active camo one, this is the only in color version of this figure. So I mean, right. this is the first time we really see it. Mm -hmm. Um, it comes with that same that brick chest piece we were talking about earlier. It's got a grenadier shoulder and a um a Mark V shoulder, but it's what's really really cool and what i wish they did more is that on this figure on the white and orange um it has a black wash yeah and it actually looks really 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 nice cool. and i wish that yeah. they did that for a lot of the other figures but um yeah i'm totally down with this trailblazer uh, a lot of people said they didn't like the orange and the white but i think it looks i think it pairs pretty well I like yeah. it a lot. I, mean, I like it. Is it, it one of those like things where you have it? Well. Yeah, when you have it in hand, you know, we talk about. Yeah, like, I mean, maybe it, maybe it looks better. Uh, maybe it looks better in person. I, I definitely like it. Yeah, I, I'm I'm very curious to see which is the number one. Well, wait, what know. did you say the weapon was on that one? It's the chieftain. The weapon is the DMR, the new mold DMR. Okay, and it's got paint apps. And it's got a uh, it's got a removable scope on it. Nice. And it's okay. molded in just like slate gray, but there's. A little metallic silver decal right along the top rail, oh, which is okay. interesting. Cool. It's the only other paint hmm. app on it. All right, but yeah. All right, what do we got? Don't disappoint two? me, Gabe. Don't disappoint me. <laughs> number two for Hero Series Thirteen. Come on, come on, come on. Brew Chieftain. Oh, disappoint me. Really? Brew I didn't Chieftain. expect that. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> Both cubby figures have to be at the top, or banished cubby figures have to be at the top. But um, immediately, interesting note about this brute chieftain: he has a new hand mold that has <laughs> three, hand mold. He has a new hand mold that has three fingers, like the brute hands, instead of four or yeah. five, technically. So yeah, that's great. Um, Interesting. I'm just kind of yeah. shocked at that fact. I didn't think that's. I just feel like that's one of those trivial details that I didn't think yeah. would ever get changed. But when I noticed it, I was like, "Oh, wow. Okay, they they went for it." Has it been discussed over the years? Like, give me a brute hand. I only no, have three I've never seen it. That's like... never been a topic of conversation that I've I'm, ever seen. I'm wondering if. If going forward, we're going to be seeing the three brute hands because I'm looking at the ghost and he's got four. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's so this probably going to change. It's it's interesting. That's interesting. The gravity hammer that he comes with is actually probably like one of the coolest gravity hammers we've ever gotten. It's got these really really thin, crispy yellow painted details in between cool. the crispy. in between the like hammer parts, yeah. and then the back of it is painted in metallic silver. And there's some gray around the uh, handle. Hmm. But the figure itself is... Because I, I have one open. I have a sealed one. The figure itself is immaculate. 
to be honest. Nice, um, nice. Yeah. Only problem that I, after calling it immaculate, the only issue that I've run into <laughs> is that the helmet sits a little loose. It's just a little mm. big for the head, so it wiggles a little bit. But does it? Um, it pegs in though. Like w- yeah, like I mean, it, it pegs it... in and it stays yeah. on. It just kind of <laughs> shifts side to sure. side a little. But um, so you're saying another big helmet? Yeah, another <laughs> another big helmet. But it's got a new mold chest and back, and then it has the new mold um, helmet. I guess technically it's a new mold head. It's the same infinite brute head. But yeah. um, everything is molded in a silver plastic, and then there's like red and dark gray paint apps. Cool. Um, interesting Sweet. is that the like the cod piece is a uh, Mark Six. It's like a Halo Three Master Chief <laughs> cod piece. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. I Maybe thought he killed a Spartan and took it. I thought it would have looked really cool <laughs> if it had the um, like the brute warrior that new rubber mold. Yeah, yeah. 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 I thought that would have looked super cool in this figure. Mm-hmm. I might try to make a custom of that and see how it see how it turns out. But cool. this is yeah, take that from that. I'm super super happy that we finally have like a proper official articulated brute chieftain, even if it is you know Halo Infinite. I'm super happy about that. How much how much resculpting <clears throat> do you think they'd have to do to make a Halo Three one? Would it be an entire new sculpt? Yeah, tremendous. Okay. Like, this this brute, mm. I'm assuming this is the Halo Wars 2, or the uh, Halo Infinite Brute Chieftain, because it is the same yeah. as the Jazz Wars figure. Um, right. This one closely resembles a Halo Reach Chieftain, closer yeah. than, than a Halo 3, which mm. I like. I like the Reach Chieftains, actually. Um, but yeah, they'd have to you're do seeing, a lot to make it You're Halo seeing... 3. You're seeing a large correlation between Reach designs and Infinite. Yeah. I, I feel like I see that. Yeah. I feel like if I had to say what design is Infinite going with, I'd pick Reach. I mean, like, it's, yeah. it seems yeah, to be yeah. everything's kept in there, even mm-hmm. with the down to the various assault rifles. It'll be well, interesting to I mean, see. If Infinite is set in the shadows of Reach. Oh. oh yeah. that's, that's, you've reached your limit. Nice work, Tom. You got there. <laughs> All right. The, All right. the <laughs> Gravity Hammer... Yeah. Well done. Did we didn't see that in the the trailer? Did we any any gravity hammer? No, no gravity hammer no. in the trailer. But we're we're getting all sorts of gravity hammers and infinite stuff, aren't we? Yeah. So... Wow. Esherim has got a gravity mace. Or he's it's, he's got it's a like gravity. A he's got like a gravity gavel. Is what yes. I call it. Yeah. It's a golf club. He's got a gravity golf club. <laughs> gravity golf club. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, Atrium. He's just playing his... with Locke's helmet. Atriox has the chain breaker. Chieftain, yep. this chieftain here has a gravity hammer. But uh, Eshram actually is featured in these little what? What are they it's called? The, like Tom? action click style things. Aren't yeah, they? I can't remember the exact name. Oh he, yeah, he, his body. He's standing here and he has a uh, like a like a custom um, like a gavel in his hand. Yeah, it looks cool. kind of cool. Yeah, I, so it'll be, it'll I be find it. See how that works. I find it so weird that we got Hyperius in a set. And we have no idea who the hell I period is. Yeah. <laughs> but we have Eshram in the game. Honestly, no in the game idea. trailer, we don't have him. Like, wouldn't it make? Wouldn't it have like swapped it out and had Eshram come in? The I don't know. Maybe they're planning yeah. something big for Eshram. But I, don't know. I just like I'm like we got Hyperius yeah. over here with Locke's helmet. He looks like a major player. So well, and mm. then we have from the Jazz Warriors, who's the um, the elite that we have? Oh yeah, the Warlords. Um, no, there's a name no, Elite. The, oh, the, Jagar. Jagar, 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 the, the, Jagar, Jagar. Jagar. Yeah. Yeah. Jagar Dominic. So, yeah. th- there's going to be boss fights, which is going to be cool, I think. Mm. Yeah. Right. Speaking of elites, my Uh-oh. number one pick, my my very favorite figure from Halo Heroes Series 13, is the Elite the I Warlord. totally... Ooh, this very is yellow. American cheese bad, color. I gotta say, and I mean Don't this like, it, with absolute sincerity, this is probably my new favorite mold from mega constructs like ever oh what? yeah okay i absolutely so i've got two i've got one open i have this one here sealed but the open one the the articulation like the way you're able to pose it it looks so clunky and big and and obnoxious but it actually has some of the best articulation of like any elite it can fully raise its arms it can turn its head it can look all the way up and all the way down Wow, uh, it cool. it really is like the best armor setup. That's um, great. The figure itself actually has a lot more detail than you might think. So like obviously it is really really yellow, 
but and it definitely could have benefited from a black wash which is what i was saying with a trailblazer i wish they would have done that here as well yeah Mm -hmm. um there's a ton of metallic silver and like gunmetal gray printed decals all over the even on the backs of the feet like on the heels and in between the toes it's painted gray Mm -hmm. Um, nice. on the shoulders the helmet the back the chest wow. the cod piece it, there's all kinds of little details on here and it's... it comes what's up oh go ahead you're you're, you're gonna answer my question Keep the, going. Uh, it comes with an old style energy sword and even the hilt on the energy sword is painted in black and silver oh, oh. sick it's nice. so cool yeah but I yeah this is this is by far like best elite that they've ever made in my personal opinion wow. i freaking love this thing i foresee myself buying many of these along with yes. the chicken yes, i might sir. get one of i might get one of the other ones and i might get cheap just to put on a shelf and not mm. open it but i'm gonna army build the, out oh of those. dude if i don't <laughs> get like 10 of these we're having problems well so it's <laughs> it's actually almost maybe a good thing that they took one out of the series then right because these these yeah. are the ones that are going to be gone right away right people are going to grab yeah. a bunch of the elites and the warlords so yeah, yeah. i still uh, could have used that miranda figure though <laughs> <laughs> but yeah series 13 oh, um awesome it, it's it's definitely one of the best in my opinion i mean one of the best yeah we'll get there we'll, one day but yeah, it's we'll a have good that series discussion. right it's okay. a good series yeah cool it's kind of funny that series 13 is the one that accidentally lost a figure because it's unlucky with the 13 right yeah yeah the 13 <laughs> hey now whoa 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 <laughs> that is pretty funny actually <laughs> yeah all right um any other thoughts i think we're we've done good we've covered a lot of ground um and yeah we uh we'll, we'll, we're excited for the next topic we have some good stuff to talk about next time too yeah, but yeah, any yeah. anything uh that you guys want to mention about the uh, spring wave in general high level stuff tom you got anything, any I thoughts i do want to jump in obviously being a european fan um i've been talking to a few of the retailers who i usually buy stuff from at the moment they're not set to get series 13 mm. um so i know heroes came back to the uk for the first time in a long time with series 12 it sounds like they've not got access to series 13 as an assortment currently so if you want it make sure to sound off to the relevant people you know mattel uk is the best people to go to just say you'd like to see that product stocked in the uk and hopefully we'll get it right okay mm. Cool. Mm. i look um, i look forward to buying a lot of these when they come uh, <laughs> available right so. now uh, uh, take my money yeah. take my money <laughs> <laughs> i also came equipped with some community shout outs if we're at that point yeah let's do that quick and then we'll yeah. then we'll wrap cool so i am gonna shout out cam who is in our discord um particularly in the builds with blocks chat constantly sharing loads of really cool examples of the stop motion work that he's been up to I am subscribed to his YouTube channel, but I can't remember it off the top of my head right now, so I'll try and find that out for next time. We can put and it in the notes also, of the show. Um, I wanted to shout out Mega X, who in the Mega Shipyard chat on Discord has shared some photos of their custom Halo Infinite Marines inspired by the Jazzwares figures. Oh. So they've got a couple of Infinite Marines... Um, one of whom's got a balaclava covering up their Mm. face instead of an exposed face and some extra uh, torso armor and the other has got like the goggles that the wave 2 jazzwares figure has got um so some really cool custom figures there he's also um mega x he and i are in a discord together he's a oh my he's super talented but even the shoulders the shoulders (laughs) on his first marine are also fully custom sculpted and so are the lower legs like he just he went all out he was showing us work in progress photos and they're amazing cool the paint Mm. on that first one as well it's got like the proper armor guard around the Mm -hmm. face and everything it's really nice super crisp yeah Mm -hmm. nice cool Uh, um i have someone to shout i have some yeah i have someone to shout out he has nothing to do with uh mega or halo (laughs) or anything like that um at least i not that i know of i don't know if he's never actually um mentioned anything about halo but um uh, I'm going to shout out a good friend of mine, Matt Rushing. He's on Twitter at uh, Matt Rushing, and he also does a podcast called The 602 Club. So go check that out. It's a really awesome podcast. They talk about everything from Marvel, DC, uh, everything geeky. 
Lord of the Rings. It's a really great show. A lot cool. of in-depth discussion. So uh, really awesome guy. Give him a follow. Nice. Right on. Perfect. Yep, yep. All right. Nice. I don't, I, think, I don't have anything for today. Gabe, do you have anything? No. Okay, cool. All right. Well, that will do it for the show. And let me scroll down. Oh, my hand doesn't work. And it's been a while since I've hosted, <laughs> so I don't know how to close this show anymore. Do you want me to do it? I think we say something about our Patreon. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, so we have the money. we have the Patreon. If you want to support the show, feel free to go over there and check that out. Um, we got lots of, of cool stuff, uh, different tiers and all that sort of stuff. So um, check us out there. Otherwise, we got the Facebook group, we got the Discord. Lots of ways to get in touch with us, um, comment on our videos, and you know we love to to have conversations back and forth. So yeah, thanks for joining the show, Spring Wave Infinite. It's almost Spring here. Wave. It's here for some people. It's almost here for everybody else. School's out. All right. Spread. <laughs> Until next time. On that note, evolved. 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 <laughs>